Hi. I just wanted to record a quick video showing some of the steps for this week's homework because it seems like people are still getting fairly confused on this. Uh, so let me go ahead and share my screen. And now I'm going to follow the steps that I just posted on the Slack. And uh, so uh, fork simple note if you haven't already. Uh, of course, since it's uh, my uh, project here, uh, I have. Uh, and uh, let's uh, just go to my simple node project. Uh, There we are, so that's simple node. Um, that's step one. Step two, uh, use MySQL Workbench to edit your table structure. Uh, and so this should be reflecting something that uh, is uh, in your uh, group's database. Uh, and uh, so let's create a uh, group zero database here. I've got one selected or created now, so uh, let me find it. Uh, where did it go? I have to refresh. Group zero DB, great. I'll double click that to make sure it's the selected database. Um, and then let's go ahead and uh, create a table. Uh, and uh, instead of creating the employees table here, uh, let's uh, create a listings table. Uh, so I'll just put that in. Let's uh, say uh, Steph is what our table is called. And we're going to give it an ID, we're going to give it a name, and uh, we're going to give it a location. And then we'll leave the rest of the uh, fields off of there just to make it nice and quick. So boom, I should be able to create a uh, table. If I open up my uh, tables here, uh, refresh, I can see that. And now I need to put some stuff into stuff. Uh, and so uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Grab one of these as a template, uh, and uh, that'll just give us the uh, structure for putting stuff in stuff. And so we're going to put it into stuff, and we gave it an ID. We'll keep that one, and then the item uh, is a book, and that's in Victoria. And we don't need the rest of our fields because we didn't include those in stuff. Oops. Let's add that one just to make sure it does go in. Yes, it does. Excellent. So uh, we should probably uh, stuff a couple other things into stuff. Like a couple more lines here. Uh, let's uh, update our uh, IDs. And we'll leave them all in Victoria just for the heck of it. Uh, Oh, maybe not. We'll sell a TV, we'll uh, sell a car, and uh, let's uh, sell uh, a truck. And uh, let's make our car in Sydney, just for the heck of it. There we go. And I probably should have uh, put some prices and things into this. Uh, uh, and so actually, let me uh, set this up to uh, make a, a little bit more complicated query. Uh, let's uh, put a couple more lines in here. Let's put uh, a car in uh, Cobble Hill and a car in Vancouver. I'll add those. Should have lots of things in our table now to uh, play with. Uh, and so we can leave our uh, table there. Let's go back and look at this. Um, so then log into the 159 server uh, using SSH and the group six credentials. Well, we aren't group six, but uh, I'll uh, do so using group zero. Again, my SSH manager is Kitty. Yeah, I've talked that, about that a few times, but I'll uh, log in as group zero. And uh, there I've logged in. Um, I'm going to git clone uh, simple node. Um, so uh, here I had uh, a, a simple node found. Uh, so uh, let me go ahead and grab my clone uh, path to that. And we'll come back here. And I think I have it here already. Uh, so I'm going to uh, move simple node to uh, all to simple just to get rid of it. And uh, then I'm going to git clone. Now you only do that, of course, if you uh, were doing this the first time, you'll just get clone uh, or just delete it and clone again. And then we'll go into uh, simple node um, because this is uh, 
uh, Node uh, JS project, we need to uh, do a, uh, a, a an npm install. Not nom install npm install. That'll go out and grab all the dependencies that uh, we uh, had for uh, for that. Um, now, what I should probably do uh, is, uh, and we're here getting to um, step uh, five, uh, edit your project to get the data from the new table, uh, then check it up into GitHub. Uh, so uh, let's go and uh, create a uh, git bash. Just waiting for it to start up here. And I'll uh, go into my entangling directory, uh, and I'll go into my node directory. And uh, I do have a uh, another simple node here, so I'm going to uh, git clone uh, and put my address in here. And uh, then I'm going to uh, give this a new name, like I talked about doing. Uh, so uh, uh, all, all of this doesn't need to happen this way, of course, but I just want to show you all the steps to uh, cloning locally and doing it. Uh, and so I'm giving it the uh, directory of uh, simple four. Now, of course, all of my uh, simple uh, directories point to the same project, and so I could edit this in any of them. Uh, but uh, let me um, do that. Again, you only do the npm install uh, if you've installed Node.js locally. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's uh, best just to edit here from uh, uh, in this local directory, but not actually try to run things from uh, in this uh, local directory. I find it useful in my development process, though, to uh, go ahead and do my edits uh, locally, uh, try running it locally, uh, and then only after that is working properly uh, do I go ahead and uh, push it on up to the server. And so this is just going ahead and installing the dependencies uh, for uh, NPM here. And uh, here uh, in an internal amount of time, since it's busy uh, doing the uh, screen share session as well, it will hopefully uh, pop back up saying it's done. Someday. There we go, excellent. Um, so uh, next thing I'm going to do is open up my uh, code editor window, and uh, that will uh, let me uh, see what's uh, running there. And uh, then I'll be able to edit to uh, go at my uh, new table structure. It's thinking about it. There's my simple four directory, and I'm just going to edit the uh, SQL EJS example, but uh, JS. Uh, that's the only one we uh, really care about right here. Now, again, in my uh, example, uh, it's uh, going to be the uh, same uh, credentials as I had on there previously, uh, but uh, I think I called that uh, group zero DB. Let me uh, pop over here to make sure. Yeah, group zero DB, and the table is called stuff. And so uh, we'll select star from stuff, changing uh, the database to group zero. And uh, I don't want to overwrite the uh, group uh, one's port, and so I'll change that back to uh, port 8000. Good enough. Now I should be able to uh, just make sure everything's here where I think it is. So I'll say uh, node. SQL underscore EJS uh, example dot JS. Oh, and it's not going to work. There we go. Why is it not going to work? On line 20, it's not working. What's on line 20? Select star from stuff. Uh, oh, I think I have that as group O DB. Let's try group zero DB. There we go. That works a lot better. Uh, and it spits out one of those things onto the uh, uh, console window, uh, and uh, then the rest, uh, if I want to see them, I'll go look at localhost 8000. Why doesn't it want to find localhost 8000? Well, indeed, it does not. 
Have I not changed something else? I have not changed something else. That should be port 8000, not 8001. There we go, so I'll control C out of this. Run that again. Maybe just some of the mistakes that can be made. And I'll reload that. And uh, this is great, and I loop. Of course, my loop's not actually uh, reading the items out of here. Uh, so uh, let's do, Render simple one, listings, listings. So listing should equal row, select uh, star from stuff, and uh, console log rows, zero. So that's being spat out. Uh, and we're seeing ID one, book, location, Victoria. So sh we should have something in listings. And then I bet this sends us to our partials here. Uh, simple one dot uh, EJS uh, and, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, item dot item name is not that. It's item dot name and uh, item dot location are the two things we want now. So item dot name and item dot location. And that looks all right. So I'll come back over here and restart this yet again. And then I'll refresh this. And voila, I've got some uh, things in there. So uh, that is running locally. Uh, if I were following this exactly, uh, I would then push this up to the server and see it work. Uh, uh, having changed the uh, uh, location for the port uh, to your groups, uh, and uh, then we could do it starting a screen session up there. Let's instead do the uh, last part of the homework first uh, of uh, changing to make this a more uh, complicated query. And then we'll push up and show the push up stuff all at, uh, at once. Uh, and so uh, all I mean by that uh, is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's give it a where clause and uh, say uh, uh, location, equals Sydney. And this might work. Uh, I might have my syntax slightly off in there. So we'll try this one uh, and see if it spits things up, but it may actually, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it did actually. Yeah, uh, my syntax wasn't off. And uh, so now if I refresh this, uh, I should get uh, only the car in Sydney. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's what I mean by a little bit more complicated query, anything with a where clause. Uh, and if your database structure is more complicated, uh, you could have a where clause with multiple things in it. Uh, and uh, that would be great uh, if you, for instance, only want to pull out uh, you know, the uh, books that uh, are in good condition from a certain seller. Uh, you'd have a couple of uh, different elements inside your where clause. But uh, that's a more complicated than simple select. And so uh, yeah, that does it for us. Uh, now I'm going to uh, git add those I'm going to uh, git commit and give it a message of uh, new database selected and then I'm going to git push that we'll push that up to the server and then I need to log into the server uh, uh, oh I guess I am on uh, uh, the server over here already so I'm uh, in on the server uh, and I'm going to do a uh, git pull and uh, that'll pull my changed files on down there. Now if I wanted to uh, I could just run things uh, SQL EJS uh, example.js and now since I'm uh, on uh, port 8000 already uh, that would let me uh, point to uh, what is it 159.203.42.111 port 8000. And I should see the same thing come up. My loop is just showing Sydney. Um, but that's not exactly what I wanted because then you'd need to leave your computer open all the time. Uh, and so instead, what I'm going to do uh, is open up my screen session. You can see it's telling me a whole bunch of stuff about screen. Uh, um, I don't really care about any of that, so I'll just hit enter. Uh, and now it looks just the same as it did, uh, but I'm inside my screen session in this directory. Uh, and so now I can say uh, node uh, s. SQL underscore EJS 
underscore example.js. And that will run it. And now it's running it. And I want to go control A, D for detach. And so it looks like I'm uh, yeah, not running it anymore. Uh, but if I uh, refresh over here, you can see I'm still running it. Uh, and uh, so uh, that's uh, basically how screen works. And there's a bunch of other ways of, uh, of using screen. Uh, but uh, uh, let me, for instance, point to uh, this description. Uh, uh, screen minus R is how you'd resume a previous screen session. Uh, and then this has all the commands that you'd use for creating a window, killing a window, detaching from a window. Uh, um, and uh, it, that lets you uh, turn this off altogether and still have it be running. So those are all the steps that uh, I had in there. Uh, you, when you're happy with your homework 10, leave it running in a screen session. Uh, you can close your window if you want. So I can uh, you just shut this down. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, I'm sure I want to close the session. And that will still work. Um, and then uh, send me uh, your uh, link. So the uh, 159203-4211-800 uh, and whatever your group number is. Uh, uh, send me a link to the GitHub and send me the name of the group members who worked on this with you. Uh, and that should be everything you need to do for uh, homework 10. Uh, so I'm going to leave it right there and post this up. Thanks. Bye.